My name is Aaron Grams. I work for Water Pollution Control as the Stormwater Permit Coordinator. Today we are down here at Jackson Street Bioretention Cells and we are doing a prescribed burn. As you can see behind me, there is a lot of leaf litter and also some dead vegetation left over from last fall. In order to help us maintain it, we do a prescribed burn. It helps get rid of all that dead material, makes maintenance a lot easier, but also helps invigorate the soil with nutrients that help the native plants this spring blossom and bloom. Over time, native plants have adapted th through fire in the prairie and the plains. So as the native plants get that fire that takes away the dead material, that is going to get more sunlight to the ground in the spring. It's going to warm up the soil. And also that helps the plants germinate faster. And that helps keep out the weeds of the dandelions, henbit, or chickweed. And that way native plants will grow really tall and strong, very colorful as well. It will crowd out those weeds and we won't have them. So the native plants right now are still underground. Most of them are, I will say, let me clarify. Over to the left, you'll see a nice thick blanket of goldenrod. It may be one of the more earlier developing ones. A lot of the other ones, your, your switchgrass, the little blue and big blue stems, they're still hibernating underground. They're, the soils have not warmed up enough for them to start producing their stalks. So we, we have a good assortment. We got the goldenrod, we got purple cone flowers, we got some blanket flowers. Down the south, we got more switchgrass and little and big blue stems. We've got some, but we like to get more to make it more colorful. And we are doing some other things as well. We're getting some cells reconfigured on the south side, so that way, a little bit more landscape plants. We're gonna be planting some switchgrass later on in the next few weeks. And also, we'd like to eventually get some more wildflowers down here as well. 